So, Armory Forger has been out for a couple of weeks now, and the reception has been... Yeah, not the best. Most of it seems to stem from the server issues, which is obviously something that is going to be fixed with time. But, then there's the real concern regarding the future of Armory Forger, which is about the lack of content. And that's what this video is all about. There are some revealing insights into the future in a recent interview with Jan Dusek, the project lead of Armory Forger. The article was done by the German magazine GameStar, and I'll leave the link in the description down below. So we're going to take a look at what we know and what are my speculations for what's to come. I'm Critical, and if you enjoy my content, shoot that subscribe button. Let's try to reach our goal of 5000 subscribers, shall we? I have a roadmap of videos that you don't want to miss. We'll begin with the bad news from the interview, which is the following. It was asked if Armory Forger will get a campaign, and unfortunately, there are no plans for that. So, we won't get most likely any official remastered campaign, which is somewhat disappointing, as that was the core of my childhood in Operation Flashpoint. Armory Forger is far from being a full-on Operation Flashpoint remake, and I don't think it ever will be. I mean, the year isn't even on par with the original, so there's that. But this doesn't mean Armory Forger won't have a bright future, because we have to remind ourselves that the game is still in early access and there are several big updates to come, some of which we can find from within the game files themselves, thanks to Ghostbear for posting the images on Reddit. To address the pink elephant in the room, yes, there are helicopters. Not the flying jeeps and UAZs, but the actual choppers, you know the fortunate sun-blazing whirly birds. The Soviet chopper is a Mi-17, and it has a neat looking paint job, while the Americans will get the classic Huey UH-1. Oh boy, I can't wait to fly these things on this beautiful terrain, or terrains. There are also two other images posted, with civilian cars. The first being a Skoda 125, as one of my viewers has mentioned when we saw this image in one of the puzzle images quite some time ago. And the second is a classic S1203, which we also saw in the leaked images. I see no reason why these wouldn't be drivable, as they are already modeled within the game files. Speaking of civilian vehicles, there might be more hints regarding those, but this is now mere speculation. During the Armory Forger's release livestream, we could get a glimpse of an animated scene with some familiar vehicles. We can see the BTR which already exists in the game, but also there's the classic sports car in yellow and white, along with the motorcycle from Operation Flashpoint. But then again, during the clip they were talking about Reforger Regiment, a unit of community creators. So it could be nothing, just some concept art. And regarding concept art, we can spot the classic bus from Operation Flashpoint. Again, it could be nothing. But they seem to be putting a lot of emphasis on the civilian side of things which I think has always been an important part in the ARMA series, bringing the world to life. Now to something more concrete. If we look at what we can see in the background in this image during the photo shoot, that would be a BMP-1. Well, isn't this also just an art piece? But I think there's more. Because as we discovered earlier in a blog post, they were audio recording the SVD Dragonov, which is in the game, but also they were recording the BMP-1. This is something I believe will come to Armory Forger, but take my word with a grain of salt. Because, speaking of tracked vehicles, and back to the interview, 
it was said that there won't be any major expansions in the vehicle classes. And that includes tanks, which was mentioned by the interviewer. This is another unfortunate case. But who knows, I mean, why would they record the audio of the BMP if it wasn't included? Maybe it might be released later, when the US would also have an IFV to counter the BMP. Something like an M2 Bradley. Forward. Halt. Left. Forward. But right now, the US only has a Humvee to counter somewhat-ish the BTR. But there's also been speculation about the M113 APC, as the same guy on Reddit who posted the game files images said quote, Also, mentions of M113, UAZ-4502 and mortars. I cannot verify this, but this sounds really nice. Especially with mortars we could get proper big kaboom battles in the game, like we see in the showcase trailer. And about bringing battles alive, it was confirmed that they're going to add a more destructible environment when asked if they're going to be destructible buildings. Also, it was confirmed that AI commanding will be a thing in a future update, which I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to manage to rework the painfully classic entire keyboard using commanding. As a side note, just something I'd like to see in the game would be boats, as the game is set in an archipelago and some islands are inaccessible unless you are using the whirlybirds we talked about earlier. And maybe it would be the next big thing in Arma, as naval warfare has never been really a thing before. But this is just me fantasizing. The same goes for things like speculation about Malden, as there are mentions within the game as spotted by a redditor named SlavaPB. There's even speculation about railroads seen by the same redditor, and maybe a hint at a new terrain, or for Arma 4, if not for Armory Forger. Last but not least, someone by the name of Yamazonas on reddit spotted a billboard in which you can see a PPSH-41 and someone dual wielding some variant of the car 15 carbines. Although I don't think the dual wielding would be a thing, as cool as it sounds. Well, that's all for the speculation. So, as a conclusion, there will be more to come, as some of the game files reveal. But it won't be the amount you'd expect from a full ARMA title. And that's because there's a focus on quality over quantity. And that is what I believe Armory Forger represents. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and if there's something I missed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and let's try to reach our goal of 5000 subscribers. This is Critical, out.